Hi, welcome back everybody. Today I'm just going to show you a quick demo of a hair circlet or flower crown, perfect for the races. Something that's simple and easy for you guys to do that you'll be able to do yourself at home. I'm going to do, do the flower crown or hair circlet on a ribbon, which is easy for you to attach to, and then you can just simply tie it around the base of your head. Um, our materials that we're using today are We've got secateurs, we've got scissors to cut the ribbon, I've got the ribbon obviously, I've got parafilm, 26 gauge wire, these, these are actually long wires which I've cut down into half. Our flowers we're using are miniature roses, I've got some chrysanthemums, paper daisies and I've just got some marea which I've just taken out of my garden which you can do too, that way you're not buying too many materials. You can just use bits and pieces that you've got laying around. So to prepare to start, we're going to cut the flowers off about that length. About that length. And then I'll show you how to wire them. So push your way through, bend it, and that's it, it's done. I'll just show you how to wire the marae as well. So you need bits probably about of that length. And then you just get your wire, place it on the top like that and you bend it down and then you actually twist it around the stem just gently and that's it, it's wired. Just a tip for when you're parafilming, you place the parafilm onto the flower hold it with your thumb and you actually stretch it and then twist. Twist with your thumb and your forefinger and twist and twist it around as it's stretched. It's not sticky but as you twist it stays and then you just pull it off and that's it, it's done. So I'll just show you how to assemble the hair circlet or flower crown now. So I'll take some ribbon, you're better off having it longer than shorter so that you've got enough room to tie it and then we'll just cut it off. You generally find out where the middle is <clears throat> and then start your flower crown about halfway down through the middle which gives you a tail. We'll start with a bit of foliage and you're going to attach it to the ribbon. So you put your foliage onto the wire, onto the ribbon, grab some parafilm and then start the same as I showed you before. Hold it in your with your thumb and your forefinger, stretching and then just twisting. Twist the ribbon as you go and then break it off, untwist it. And then we'll start adding our flowers. So any, in, in any order, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start with a rose. And I've just laid that on top of the other wire that's already there and the, the ribbons underneath. We'll grab our parafilm on top again. Hold it between your thumb and your forefinger. Stretch it and then twist it. Just a little bit at a time. Break it off and then untwist it again. You can either add another flower now or you can add some more foliage, it's up to you. I'm going to do this fairly thin, I'm not going to make this thick, but you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Oops. Another flower. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. If you're using other flowers, sometimes they might have bigger heads on them, so it might be thicker. 
This one I'm just going to make fairly thin and keep it simple. I'm just going to add some more foliage in here now. Just like this. Parafilm. Stretching, twisting, breaking. And then I'll add a paper daisy. I've just done them slightly off to each side, but you can do them in a row or you can put like three all together. It depends on, again, how thick you want it, how many flowers you want to be in it. And you just keep adding. Just keep adding to your ribbon. The wire will go down the ribbon as you go. So I'll just show you how to finish it off. We've done our headband, hair circlet, flower crown, whatever you want to call it. So our wire's still long, our ribbon's still long down here. We want to do a bit of a return, which is where it gets a bit tricky, but you can improvise or you can even use glue if you want. So I'll, I've got a piece of foliage. We want to go back on itself. So you can just thread it through and hold it with your thumb. Bend the wire down so it's with the other wires. We'll just leave that there for now. But then I'm going to add another flower in the same hole. Bend it down. Bend the wire down. I'm just going to add one more paper daisy in here as well, just to fill up the gap. And I might just add one more bit of foliage just to cover it up. So the wires are very easy to bend and you can manipulate them. And you've got a return so you can't actually see. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to parafilm under here. And you can actually cut or break the parafilm off and twist it. You don't have to just twist it around. So I'm going to twist the parafilm around these few end wires here and then I'm going to cut off these wires I'll just lift this foliage up so you can see I'm going to cut off these wires but I'm not going to cut the ribbon you've got a return you can't see where your flowers end, you can't see where your wires are, it's all hidden by your foliage. And that's it, we're finished. That's our flower crown hair circlet.